So as I film this, I'm experiencing a very interesting phenomenon of migraine aura. So I'm here at work uh, seeing patients, and between patients, I started getting this visual disturbance in my right visual field. And at first, I thought that, you know, maybe I had looked at the light a little too long, and I was just seeing some temporary disturbance, but then I wasn't looking at it for a little while, and it started getting worse, and it evolved, and now it has spread out into this crescent. And it's this colored, flickering light, very similar to how artists have described their migraine aura, and I'll put up some pictures of how some artists have described it. And it's this crescent shape that evolved very slowly. And of course, if I look away, it follows me because it's a visual field problem. I've experienced this exact same phenomenon exactly two prior times. So this is the third time in my life that I've experienced this. And it lasts maybe like 30 to 45 minutes, and I'm sure this will go away as well. And it's very distinctive. I would say it's exactly the same every time, and I believe in the exact same aspect of my visual field. And interestingly, both prior times also occurred at work and nothing special is happening I'm not ill in any way I'm not under any particular amount of stress another interesting thing is I don't actually suffer from migraines I don't get headaches I've never had a migraine in my life I don't even suffer from tension headaches I'm approximately one of 20 percent of the population that does not suffer from headaches at all Interestingly, I have a very strong family history of migraine, uh, but none of my relatives have this exact form of migraine. So what we think this is, so-called classic migraine or migraine with visual aura, about 5% of people with migraines experience this phenomenon. And we think what's happening is what's known as cortical spreading depression, where during the migraine there's dilation of blood vessels, there's activation of the trigeminal nucleus, and there's temporary reduction of activity over the surface of the brain. And of course, this is happening in the visual cortex, very specifically in a portion of the left visual cortex. Now you may ask, how do you know for sure that this is migraine aura? Could it be a brain tumor or a seizure or a transient ischemic attack? It absolutely cannot be just because it's slow in onset. It's such a specific and distinctive visual disturbance and it's exactly the same as how people describe migraine aura. So that's unquestionably what it is and this is described as acephalgic migraine, migraine without headaches. So visual aura is one of the most common auras, but people can actually have other symptoms. They can have temporary reduction of activity in other areas of the brain, and people can actually have speech disturbances or even weakness on one side of the body mimicking a stroke. This is known as hemiplegic migraine, and it's not really understood why this happens. Interestingly, there are some disorders such as catacil, which is a you know genetic disorder that can cause headaches and cognitive impairment and white matter changes that is associated with hemiplegic migraine due to a mutation which is autosomal dominant on chromosome 19. I obviously don't have that. Uh, so just crazy that I'm standing here and got this phenomenon. It's very annoying, you know, very distracting. The reason I'm filming this is because it's hard for me to chart or type or anything like that uh, because it's kind of over my screen and I feel like I have to look away. So I'm just going to wait for it to go away or do something else in the meantime. But I'd be interested to know, have you experienced this phenomenon visual aura with migraine or some other migraine aura? And is it similar to my description?